<laughs> Hello and once again, good evening, YouTube. Welcome back to some more Juice 2. Oh my. Hello, hello. Welcome back, welcome back. Um, yeah. So as you can see on the screen, this was last saved on August 24th, 2020. Do we know what day it is? It's, it's 620, but it doesn't say the year. How do I show you the year? I don't know how I show you the year. Well, whatever, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're, I, I, I can just resave it. Here we go, saving game. Saving game. D it doesn't bring up the screen, though. All right, well, you don't get to see it. Welcome back. It's been two years since I played this last. And here we are. Back at it again. Oh no. Yeah, so... I explained what happened in the first, uh... In the first, um, thing. Of, yeah. Yeah, let's do a let's do a one million point drift endurance challenge. Uh, let's do that. Snow Widow. What? All right, sure. Snow Widow. We're in a good drift car, so it should be fine. Oh, look at the shape of this track. Are we even gonna be able to keep up a drift endurance for this whole time? It's an easy track, but there's a big long straightaway right there. So it's been two years. Since I played this game last, and can you believe that I was at the top of my Juice 2 game when we were playing this back in 2020? Now, ever since playing this game for the channel back then, um, I have not played this game ever since. So, I am nowhere near the top of my game. So, what better way to get back into this game than by doing a 1 million point drift endurance? That sounds like a very productive use of my time. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my, we are already struggling. So, anyway, what happened? So what happened is the Elgato was, so I don't know what happened, but the Elgato kind of like reset its settings at some point. Or like that was just during the point of my life where I was just like borderline. So I may have just, just straight up forgotten that my uh, videos were being recorded to the videos tab, but that doesn't seem correct, because I was recording um, Dead Rising 2 earlier than that, and that recorded to my uh, to my YouTube folder just fine, and not the videos tab. So I'm not entirely sure what happened to cause this, to cause me to forget that I had a game of juiced Two on the PS3 that like ever since then like three more people have told me like hey the PS3 version is different you should play that and I'm like all right all right sure whatevs whatevs brub but uh yeah so I'm not still not entirely sure how I managed to completely forget about this or how it even ended up in the videos folder to begin with because like I said Dead Rising 2 went just fine but everything else was just... There was nothing else. This was the only thing in the videos tab. I have no idea why it saved to the videos tab. We will never know why, but all I do know is that it has been two years since I played this game last, and oh my goodness gracious, oh how things have changed. Things change around here. Yeah, ever since then, like, I've completely turned 180 degrees... I am no longer borderline. Probably the happiest that I've been since high school. So, you know, that says that says a lot. Um, I'm at a new job. I'm in a new city. Um, uh, I'm, uh, that's about it. <laughs> I think I had the charger by the time I had this, uh, I started this playthrough. So, that's not new. But it's all good. Clearly, I have not forgotten how to play this game in the two years that it's been since I put it in. See, like, it got off to a shaky start there, but now, now we're fine. Now everything is 100% fine. Oh, yeah. 
So this episode could just be a two hour long drift endurance. Can we hit 10 million points? The answer to that question is yes, because this is a very, very easy track, and like the car isn't ridiculously powerful, so it's not going to be like, you know, flopping all over the goddamn track. And all that good stuff, but yeah, I don't know. I said, I've never looked it up. I wonder what is the longest drift endurance in Juice Two on YouTube. That's a really good question, actually. I, I kind of want to know the answer to. It. But um, so to discuss those first two parts, like I said, I was borderline back then. It was a very, very dark period, <laughs> but a lot of good music came out of it. I am I'm still recording my next album. And most of the extremely depressing songs on that album came out of this era. So, um, just to let you know that. <laughs> just to let you know that uh, we got some quality music from the, uh, from the Borderline era. But, you know, the, the, the good news is that the Borderline era is over. And we are no longer depressed. We are back in the world of Juiced. And to say that I am prepared for this is an understatement. As we have hit... A million chained drift points. We're on the 88th chain, 89th chain, 90. Get a hundred chains and 10 million points. I think you don't even need like 10 million drift points for the entire actual game. I don't even think you need this many total drift points over the course of the entire playthrough. But here we are. Here we are. I could have done this on the PS2 version, by the way. Don't think I couldn't have done this on the PS2 version where the tracks are actually difficult, but then you go to a place like this and it's literally just Bristol. It's Bristol with a bit of a kink on the backstretch. Look at this. Need I continue? <laughs> but I think I've really just... I've explained everything at this point. That second part is very long. It's something that you're going to have on in the background, really not paying that much attention to it. I didn't want to give... I didn't want to start over because that... The first session with the, uh, with the, um, the race, the, the Observer race, because they don't have the Observer races in the PS2 version. They have Observer races in the, uh, in Juice 1 on PS2, but not Juice 2, and it's like, you know, that was not really an integral part of the game, but like, you know, <laughs> it was nice. It was a nice to have, so I have effectively destroyed this challenge, quote-unquote, 10 million points. There we go. That's how it's done. I now have effectively doubled the amount of points that I've had lifetime. Yeah, score 1 million. Thank you. Wind and Alpine dirt, Drift Endurance. I guess there's no uh, Drift Point Total Challenge. I only got $12,000 for that. That's like a couple of cents per Drift Point. Not even. Good lord, okay. Well, I got a million, and I won an Alpine Drift Endurance Challenge. That was very challenging, by the way. One of the hardest uh, challenges of my gaming career right there. That was tough. That was hard. I didn't think we'd be able to pull through. Getting a million drift points right there, that was tough. That was difficult, is what that was. Anyway, drifting is fun. I do enjoy drifting. There's only one track that I've ever had problems with drifting, and it's on the PS2 version. I don't even know if it's on the PS3 version. Hopefully it's not, so that I don't have to deal with it. Okay, so, we can do a drift tournament. Prototype Drift Obliterator. Uh, Tokyo Muscle Drift King event. Beat Ken Tanaka in any... This is just the drifting series. Yeah, we need to make a $12,000 on, on a spectator bet. I don't think it's happening, though. 200 miles per hour is the uh, speed barrier. Win a race by a close finish. Uh, last man standing championship. There's an easy one. I need to get a bunch of spooks in. So That's looking like the race we're going to want to do. So let's find a Tokyo track or a Rome track. Okay, there's no other tracks. Okay, well, we could break the speed barrier and we could beat... We need to do a bet with Tara Johnson. This is all very, very complicated. And I think this car has the limit of 44.8. This could be a prototype car. We're going to probably want to put the prototype parts into this car. No reason not to. If you have a prototype car for a certain league, then... And I think we need to do a prototype race. No, it's the Extreme uh, and Extreme Nitrous is the final challenge for this one. So, Oh my god. I fucking looked. 
at my friends list on Discord, and there was no one online, and what the fuck happens? People are adding me on Discord. Someone offering me weed on Discord. Nice. A fine offer, but I am busy. I am too busy doing a, uh, not drift event. <laughs> not drift event. This is the last man standing. Okay, where's Tara? There she is. Tara Johnson. Nice car, honestly. We're gonna place a bet with Tara Johnson. We need 15 grand, I think. There. Don't cut it in half, bitch. Bet raise. Ooh. Ooh. I still can't hear these people. I think this will be good. But be gentle with me. I can't hear what you're saying. Is there a way to turn on, like, voices and nothing else? The voice acting is, like, at 0% volume while, while the entire game, like, the background music and the crowd is just like... Aah! But they're like... I think you're cool. <laughs> Last man standing race! Let's go! All we need to do is not wreck. It's easy. Thankfully, spook mechanics exist. Oh, I don't know what the shape of this track is, though. That's kind of a problem. I really just did. The fucking controller. The fucking controller. Fuck off. So, if you'll recall from the previous sessions, the car just kind of does whatever the fuck it feels like doing. And that is an example of what happens when the car just does whatever the fuck it feels like doing. It just turns for no reason. And we have lost both the bet and the race and finished this tournament event in dead fucking last. Because the car can't be bothered to just go. The fucking controller fucking fucks me in the ass because this game was poorly programmed. So that's cool. Alright, so we get to do another fucking bet with fucking Tara fucking Johnson, because the game decided, no, you're not going to win that one. Tara, I'm not fucking done with you. I can't even win back my fucking money now. Never mind. We're going to win back the fucking money that I shouldn't have fucking lost to begin with. Because this game's a piece of shit and poorly programmed. Okay, let's make a spectacle of ourselves. What was that? What was that little shimmy? There's a spectator Bex fucking DNA strand now. All right, whatever. All right, don't fucking throw me into the wall for no fucking reason, game. Literally, what the fuck is happening? Could you please stop doing that? Can I drive the car without it going left? All right, so we have lost $53,000 at the start of this playthrough of today's session because the, the game literally is just fucking me over for no reason at all. We have yet to accomplish fucking anything because the game is continuously fucking me in the ass for no reason. That's where we're at. That's the state of the playthrough. It's just gonna throw me to the inside wall on every single event. Shut up. God fucking damn it, I couldn't do another fucking bet because the game fucking started. Oh my fucking god. Don't throw me into the fucking wall for no fucking reason. It's... What is happening? What is happening? I'm not... What is happening? The car just does whatever the fuck it feels like doing. I can't do anything in this fucking race because the car is going to throw itself into the fucking wall for no fucking reason. Unfucking believable This game sucks ass. Okay. Can we fucking complete a lap? Can we not finish dead fucking last in this event? Can we do any of these things? Is that allowed? Is that allowed? How hard was that? Just think, any point during this entire tournament, you could have just done that and we would have been fine. But no. But no. And she didn't even, whoever the fuck that was didn't even die from that, so. 
That's cool. And I can't attack these corners because I don't know what the fuck the car's gonna do. And we've lost a fucking game. Because this game is terrible. Fucking atrocious game. Completely fucking worthless pile of goddamn shit game. Would you shut the fuck up, please? Alright, well, this game is absolutely completely fucking broken. So we're not doing any last man standing events. They're the easiest fucking events in the PS2 game. You can literally just sit at the finish line at the start of the race and do absolutely fucking nothing. And you'll win every single time. But apparently, it's literally the opposite. You can't even just fucking drive the fucking car in this fucking game. That's impossible. Thanks. Thank you for saving the game. So now I've lost 50 fucking thousand dollars because this game can't be fucking bothered to do anything. Alright, well that was a lot of fun. Tons of fun. Two tons of fun even. This game really wants me to do extreme nitrous races. I can't do fucking anything besides fucking drift events. I can't do anything besides drift events because we can fucking string together 10 million drift points, but driving in a straight fucking line is impossible. 10 million point drift endurance, straight line. Completely different. Completely different levels of fucking difficulty, because this game is a piece of fucking shit. Cool. Well, so much for being able to do anything other than drift events. We're going against Tyrone. Yippee Kai fucking yay. Let's fucking put a bet down. Fucking make up some fucking money. Tyrone will double whatever I ask from him, so fucking A. 27,000. We can make back what I shouldn't have fucking lost to begin with. God, this game sucks. Good. Now prepare for poverty. I wish I could hear what they're saying. That'd be cool. I would really like to be able to hear the words that they say. She sings these words to me. Okay, I don't even know what we're fucking doing at this point. I think it's the drift... Okay, it's a drift obliterator, so it, all that matters is scoring points. Alright, yeah, your position on the track doesn't matter. So just as long as I'm stringing together the drift for the entirety of the event, this should be an easy victory. Do 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 This game fucking sucks. Yeah. That happened multiple times in the uh, previous session from two years ago, and yeah, I completely forgot about it, because you'd think something stupid like that would be just like a one-off thing. Nah. And it only ever happened in race events, it never happened in drift events. We'll sit here for ten years in a drift event, and it will never happen, but fucking try to do a single turn in a last man standing race, and apparently that's just an impossible task. So this is why I didn't want to do drift races, because I'd just fucking annihilate them. But I guess I can't do anything else, otherwise I'm just gonna die in the first fucking corner and it's gonna be over immediately. That's how it's gonna go. That's how this playthrough's gonna go. So I've made back some of the money I shouldn't have fucking lost. Thank God for that, I guess. Live from Italy. Yay. Woohoo. People are still adding me. Actually, that's not at me. It's a group chat, so... Technically, it's not adding me, but it's still an at, which means that I still get the fucking bloop. Alright, who's next? Bobby Sawyer. He'll double my bet. Dang it, Bobby. Yes, okay. Place a bet. 21,000. Double it, bitch. Yeah, you're goddamn right. Alright, we're making back some money. Finally, we're making back money. I'll take that action. What? I literally can't hear what you're saying. Oh, this game sucks. Look at me. I don't have any overtaking points, but I'm already at like halfway for the total points that you can get in the entire game. Off the back of like a single drift endurance. So I got 10 million that time. I guess the next goal is 20 million. I bet you it would be easy to get like 100 million. It probably wouldn't even take that long. I think it only took like 5 minutes for us to get 10 million. Imagine if you tried to do just like a 2 hour drift endurance event. You'd probably get up there. 
towards very high numbers. How high? I don't know. Are we talking Snoop Dogg high? We might be talking Snoop Dogg high. While we you, while we were getting high. We were, uh oh, I just did a 360. Hmm, well that's unfortunate. Good thing I am uh, 200,000 points ahead. Sure would be a unfortunate. Game? Game? Am I? Game. Can I get points? Alright, so today was the day that Juice 2 decided to fuck me over, because what? It just didn't count the points for an entire quarter. I'm gonna be fine, but wow. That's a new one. Yeah, the reason that this is like the best level of car is that it's too slow so that you don't usually spin out full 360 like that. Anyway, we're gonna win. <laughs> so, that's good. <laughs> oh, what a game. What a game. Alright, $84,000 in bets. I've made back the money that I shouldn't have fucking lost. And we're like almost a millionaire at level 5. Oh, it's we're going back here again. <laughs> oh, interesting. Hmm. I wonder if we're going to be able to do good at this track that I just spent like 10 minutes getting 10 million points on. I wonder. Okay, so Tara Johnson could be who we're facing off against here. Please, please, please be. Please be Tara Johnson. Yes. Oh, this is going to feel good. Oh, I'm ready to take your fucking money. You're in a Mustang. Nice. Can we, like, not even do a bet? Can we just do pink slips? Michelle Rodriguez, always raising the bet to 27,000. Okay, let's make a spectacle of ourselves. What are these moves, dude? You're like a porcelain statue that, like, you're like a Barbie doll that only bends at, at the joints. And even then, you're barely bending. All right, man. <laughs> Here we go, two minutes. Two minutes. I think I scored like two million points in the two minutes of uh, the last time we were here, so yeah. And I think the characters actually like increase their skill when you have a bet going on, because like obviously it's harder to spook them, which is not surprising at all. I mean that's an obvious feature to put into your put into your game, but I don't think you necessarily always have to make the other characters do better. Like, you think that, like, under pressure, they, you know, maybe even do worse. But, uh, so... Get off me, bitch. Get off me, bitch. I'm gonna beat you in score, and I'm gonna finish ahead of you. Ah! Bitch! You are playing rough. That is not allowed! Almost hit the wall like a total stud. Okay. And we're almost a million points ahead. That's good. That's positive. Could be worse. Ooh! We could just straight up just spin out. No, it ended the chain. Ooh. I would have passed the drift endurance, though, so that's good. Tara, come on, just give it up. You can tap whenever you want. Tapping is an option. I do love how, like, the most famous moment from this playthrough, from the PS2 game playthrough, is just me sucking at drifting, because I drove a front-wheel drive car in a drift event. <laughs> the double screw, where in fact I do not get screwed, I'm just bad at the game. We're winner! That was Elite. Is that what she just said? Anyway... Drift events, so where the controller doesn't deliberately fuck you over. Wow, there's not even a third person on the podium in tournaments. That's, that's something right there. Stupid Giordano, the greatest drifter to ever live. $60,000 in winnings and $54,000 in race bets. Alright. Okay, I got my money back. Stupid Giordano is the, is the stupidest. 
reach the final in a drift tournament. Did I get the driver bet? Was it not Tara Johnson? I hope I got that one. That was the entire point of me losing fifty fucking thousand dollars on the stupid ass last man standing horseshit. Game, are you really doing this to me right now? All right, well, we've got good times right here. Yeah, now you see the 2022 on the side there. Yeah. It said 2020 for the longest time, and now it said 2022, so. Okay, we're going to leave the game, and we're going to go to the settings, which is in extras for some reason. Options. Edit audio. Speech. Turn it all the way to max. And MC. Let's turn that all the way to max, too. And turn music down. Okay, turn car down and turn sound effects down. Alright, now we should be able to hear these bitches. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that the defunct game company that has a game from 2007, I'm gonna say that the online servers are no longer up. So, we're not even gonna bother with that. I'm probably the only person on planet Earth playing Juice 2 right now. Okay, let's get some prototype parts in because we are obviously lagging behind in the whole of uh, that stuff. And I have enough money for it, so let's do that. Alright, so there's this car. Uh, we're gonna go to performance and we're gonna unlock prototype parts. Um, so, do I have prototype points? I do not have prototype points. That's a problem. Why is it saving? I didn't do anything. And you also have to pay for the for, uh, the prototype uh, Extreme Nitrous. So that's an entire prototype point right there, down the drain. So I need to find a thing that will give me a prototype point. Hello? Of course it's the fucking Last Man Standing Championship that does that. If I'm gonna unlock all the prototype points, I have to do all the prototype events. And one of the prototype events is this cheating Last Man Standing Championship. By the way, did it get the driver bet? No, of course not. It doesn't count because it was a drift race. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Alright, so we can do a pink slip endurance showdown. An endurance, any endurance race, other things here. Endurance crew race. I can't do a crew race for that. I could do a prototype race and do a close finish of one second. I feel like I should just do a practice regular race to see if the car is going to let me fucking drive. Okay, we're just going to do this. We're not going to do any fucking driver bets. Because the game cheats. And it's going to try to deliberately fuck me over because this game sucks. What's going on on Discord anyway? Nothing. Nothing of value. No surprise there. It's no surprise that nothing's going on. I can't believe that I thought something was. You'd think by now I know that nothing matters. But I should have learned now that as there is no surprise. Last man standing race again. Again. Oh, we can hear the 3, 2, 1 now. I'm wondering, wait, where has that been this entire playthrough? Oh, yeah, it's been where I can't hear it. I can't hear it. Alright. Okay. Kiko, you're dead. Leon, you're also dead. Last Man Standing events are really easy when the game doesn't fucking throw you into a wall for no reason at all. What are you doing? You're using boost, but not going faster. Entirely for show. The boost is entirely for show. It is show boost. My cornering's going up, though. Cornering skill is maximizing here. I don't even have any boost, because I'm not drifting. Because it's not worth the risk. Bobby. I'm, I'm definitely within spooking range. Get out of here with this shit. Yeah, I think the good strategy here would be to just uh, try and spook everyone be, um, because at any point the game could just decide, I'm turning left now. Like, like uh, fucking Bobby just did. <laughs> hey! 
Isn't it crazy how it's really fucking easy to do things when the game doesn't deliberately fuck you over? Isn't it funny how that works? Isn't it funny how easy this game is when it doesn't deliberately fuck you in the asshole? It's crazy. It's crazy, I know. Truly an unexpected turn of events. Well, we didn't even get past turn fucking one on the last attempt for this track. Divine Reflex. Yeah, you could say that again. Something divine going on in that other attempt at this fucking shit. It's cloudy out. It's supposed to storm today. You know, I... So, my car insurance was absolutely insane. They... So, my car insurance last year was like $590, and like, that's fine. I'm paying for everything. Comprehensive and collision with like a $1,000 deductible. And it was $590, and that's fine. That's nothing. Honestly, it's nothing. Like, it's a lot when I have to pay that and rent at the same time. It kind of kills my uh, finances for an entire month. But it's not awful. So, imagine my shock. Imagine my shock when I looked at my uh, bill for what is happening. My bill for the next six month cycle, and it was fucking 730 something dollars. I'm sitting here like, um, why? First of all, why? Second of all, what? Third of all, huh? So I'm like, all right, you're gonna do that? You're gonna do that? Okay. I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna do 15 minutes to say 15% or more. And let me fucking tell you this. They're not kidding when they say 15% or more. My insurance bill, could you? Thank you. My insurance bill went from $730 to $296 for the same six month cycle. But I had to take off collision and comprehensive. Basically, my car is completely uninsured as far as a uh, condition is concerned. The only thing I'm insured for is like, if I kill someone while driving. All these bumpers sitting on the fucking, my, my bumper's fine though. My bumper's a-okay. Crystal's isn't gonna be though in a second. I believe there is only one person left in this race. Leon, hey, it's a CRX. I saw a CRX a few months ago. That was the one. That was one of the best days of the fucking month, honestly. But yeah. So if so, I always look forward to storms. But if it hails, if it hails, I have no protection whatsoever. Could you just drive past me, Leon? Thank you very much. Look at him stomp on the brakes. This man's trying to brake check me. All right, there we go. See how fucking easy it is. How easy it is. All right, I have the lead by a full race. I'm gonna do something really stupid, and that's make a driver bet with Tara Johnson during the last man standing tournament. Fear and rage. That's basically like this channel. Except for the fear. I haven't played any horror games. I, ch I was gonna play, is it fear? I was gonna play, P I was gonna play fear three for the channel. I bought all the Fear games on like a Steam summer sale for like five bucks. And I installed Fear 3 and I was gonna play that for the channel. And I didn't get very far because it's hard. It's not even like a fucking horror game. It's just like... It's like a first person shooter game. And it's like... It's like Halo but with like a... With like the ring. The girl from the ring. Anyway. Tara Johnson. It's been a minute. You and your Scion TC are going down. You're going down. Yeah, you raised that bet to 27,000 again. Look at that fucking wry smile that she's got. She knows exactly what's coming. She's hacking into my controller as we speak. I still can't hear what you're saying. I maximized the speech sounds and I still can't hear what you're saying. All right. And we're not going to die immediately at the start of the race. Right? No, we are going to die immediately at the start of the race. It's the driver bets. It's the driver bets that do it. I'm convinced. I'm convinced that it's the driver bets that do it. I won. I'm convinced that the driver bets just turn off your controller. Fuck off. Shut up. 
All right, well, that, the only reason that I did that driver bet is because I automatically had it won no matter what. I would not have done it if I hadn't had that. And I got the fucking prototype part. Thank you, God. I, it has to be the driver bet. It has to be the driver bet that does that. Have we done a pink slip race yet? Is it going to do that every fucking pink slip race? It better fucking not, dude. It better not, because I'm going to lose every single pink slip race. Obviously, it doesn't happen in drifts. It doesn't happen in drift events. Because we've done how many driver bets during pink slip races. So, it can't be that. It must just be driver bets in fucking regular races. Okay, we need to unlock some prototypes. Okay. It starts off unlocked. Okay, so I did that for absolutely no reason. Well, in that case, give me the power upgrade. I think you get a free prototype part that you can go anywhere with, and I must have. Yeah, I already installed it. Okay, I was smart. I was smart back in fucking 2020. All right, so, Edelbrock. And... Edelbrock. And Exeti. And Edelbrock. And Edelbrock. Beautiful. Car upgrade completed. Okay. And now, for the prototype events. Uh, oh yeah, there's rain coming in. I have a garage. It's not, if it hails, it's not a problem if I'm not at work. But I work all the fucking time. Prototype Drift Obliterator. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, we can do a driver bed, we can beat Ken Tanaka, Drift Obliterator, and all these different tracks. Battle Royale. Okay. Good drift car. I'm gonna beat Ken Tanaka in a drift event. I can't do Tara Johnson though, still. <laughs> still, to this day, we cannot beat Tara Johnson in anything. Cause she cheats. She hacks the controller and cheats. That's just going to be a thing that happens for this entire playthrough. I just have to remember to never do driver bets in a last man standing race. Otherwise, I fucking lose automatically. Oh, this is the one with the split pathways. Okay. Alright. Hello. What are we doing? Okay. Here's everyone. Bobby Sawyer, Tara Johnson, Nicholas Jammett. Ken Tanaka's here. I need to beat him, but I'm going to do a bet with fucking Tara. This is going to be the place of bet with Tara Johnson in every single race session. We're going to make back the fucking money that you've stolen from me. And since this is a drift event, you can't hack my controller. Good, honey. Time to burn rubber. Yeah, it is time to burn rubber. We've just been trading the same $27,000 back and forth through this entire session. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is a drift race. Thing where we need to get the target points and we also need to finish first in the race. Help, help, help. Okay, I'm in third place. I've got the amount of points that I need. But to keep my driver DNA up, I need to string all this shit together anyway. Um, it says I'm in first. I hope it's not lying. I'm just, I'm getting drift points, but I'm focusing on getting through the track as fast as possible here. See how easy this is when you can have confidence in the car and you're not just sitting on the edge of your seat thinking, oh, when's it gonna just throw me into the wall for no fucking reason? These drift events kind of suck because you have to beat them in the race on top of beating them on the, uh, on top of getting the drift score. But in all honesty, it's not that hard because a lot of times I will just straight up lap these guys in these races. It only gets tough when you're at, like, difficult tracks, like the one on the PS2 that I cannot fucking beat. Even when I was at the top of my game, I couldn't do that shit. And it was a pink slip one, too, so I had to keep taking the fucking memory card out over and over. Okay. So, we're in the lead. I don't dare look back. Or do I? It doesn't help because it just, the camera locks in place. 
It's like a Unity Engine camera. Where it just stands guard at exactly dead on the nose of your car. Doesn't help you in any fucking capacity at a drift event. It makes sense for the camera to follow the track like it's doing right now. But, uh, I guess they didn't program that. Oh, okay. So, never mind. Maybe the car does just lose control in Drift Events 2 because that didn't make any sense. It just fucking hung a left again like it always does. Like it's been doing this entire session and now my fucking points DNA is going down because the game's fucking me over. Yeah, yeah. Bring it back up, bitch. No, it's going further down. Because cause this game sucks. Stop going down. I hate the fucking... I hate this. The, the drift points, DNA shit, doesn't make any sense. It never has and it never will. There. Thank you. Race is over. Beat Ken Tanaka in any drift event. Thank you. And I still have not gotten the fucking Tara Johnson one. Now I have finally gotten the Tara Johnson one. Thank you. Oh my god, I could finally stop betting with Tara. Thank you. Thank you, game. 54,000 in the bet winnings. Win a prototype drift obliterator. Beat Ken Tanaka in a drift event. Win a $15,000 bet with Tara Johnson. I've already done it like six times. The game's only just realized that, oh, you did the thing for the first time ever. Good job. Everyone's really proud. Oh, my fucking God. I went to Walmart a few days ago. Not for my, like, Monday trip. But, like, just a day to get... I, was, I went there specifically to get um, sparkling water. And they didn't have any of the clear American stuff, which is delicious. Clear American, cherry limeade, strawberry, peach, mandarin orange. Walmart brand, sparkling water. Absolutely delicious. But they didn't have any. So I just bit the bullet and bought a different kind, and I got La Croix. I got orange La Croix sparkling water. It is nasty. It's horrendous. It's so bad. Extreme Nitrous Endurance Race. Is it time for a pink slip event? Endurance Crew Race. I don't have a crew yet. Should we get a crew? Let's get a crew. I want a crew. I want a crew. Stupid Giordano, we're gonna hire a crew. Ew! Wow, look at that chin! Look at that chin, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, these people are not attractive. Oh, he's not bad. He's all right. He's not. Any, oh, and she's she's decent. Marcus Jackson, Michael Jackson. Okay, the first few were hideous. This guy is a bit off-putting, but not terrible. Oh, that hair does not go with that skin color. Oh. Okay, Carl Ziegler. It's just fucking Tyrone again. Scott Mitchell. Ew. The trucker hat. Rachel Williams, alright, she's alright, she's alright. And then Driver X, no one knows his name. They don't know his name. Scott Mitchell. He's got a terrible hat. There's a bunch of DNA challenges for you to take on. Each time you finish one, like 50 successful overtakes, your DNA evolves and an extra marker is added to the relevant gene. Yeah, the driver DNA really doesn't matter. It honestly doesn't even make a difference. Like, in the PS2 or the PS3, from what I've noticed. We're gonna get this ugly motherfucker. Oh, man. Gonna hire him. Yeah, look at that. Hey, we're hanging out now. Oh, we're all on the main screen now. Oh, we, I didn't know he was gonna be there the entire time. I would've picked someone way more attractive if I knew they were gonna be on the background screen. Alright, well, it's all, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. We're gonna do an endurance crew race for the prototype mods. Night's Rampage. What's what's a good track for uh, airtime? Because I don't think I've gotten any air. I need multiple crew members. Okay, I need another crew member. Hang on. Hang on. I know I just hired you, but 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 we're hiring someone else immediately. Okay, this is why we needed all this money. Okay, I like Melissa Stone. That's not Melissa Stone. All right, Melissa Stone is a black male. Perfect. <laughs> no, she's there now. Yeah, look at this fucking crew. 
witness this crew. We're all hanging out next to my car. Do I have to furnish them with cars too? Don't tell me that I have to furnish them with cars like in fucking Juice 1. You don't have to do that on the PS2 version. I better not have to right now. It better not say, oh, you don't have enough cars. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Scott Mitchell, Melissa Stone. The three amigos going down to Knight's Rampage. Okay, we literally just have to beat one of them. We could finish fourth, we could finish third, fourth, and fifth, and still win this if one of our characters does not finish last. Come on, guys. I believe in you. I have the faith. And we could also break the uh, speed barrier of 200 miles an hour. I got all the performance upgrades. And the, the prototype part for that. Alright, let's take a look at the competition. Alright, so stupid Giordano. So we got Tyrone. Team Tyrone. In all these ugly ass cars. Oh, that's one of my ugly ass cars. You got a fucking Celica. Scott Mitchell in the Celica. Melissa Stone in the 350Z. Good pick. Good pick. That's an alright pick. Alright. Alright guys, you just need to fucking not finish last. Don't finish last. Is this an endurance race? It's four laps. I guess it's a long track. I guess four laps at Nürburgring would be, a, would be an endurance race. So, yeah. Scott Mitchell is no longer last. He was last. Now he's not last, so that's good. Okay. Tyro, I'm gonna spook you. Oh, I'm gonna spook him. I'm gonna spook him. Oh, there we go. Down his ass. He's dying. You actually broke for that. Okay. We are first and second and third. Look at us, dude. The team oh, that's gonna run into the wall. We are the dream team. I'm the last, I'm in last place out of all the teammates. Well, at least they're not the ones holding us back. Alright, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Oh, what a drift. What a move. What a move. Pizza time. Pizza, multiple pizza time. Double pizza time. Wonder what happened. Usually if it's one pizza time, it's just something, you know, normal. But if I get two pizza times in a row, there's usually something bad that's happened. Wouldn't it be hilarious if I, like, lost my fucking channel due to copyright strikes just during the during a playthrough? Oh, there goes my bumper. I paid, like, $2,000 for that shit, man. Oh, there's some airtime. There was some airtime right there. Help. Ugh. Okay. Okay, minute 45 lap times. Okay, so that's what they meant by endurance. Alright, do I have anything to talk about? I haven't really done anything interesting lately. I'm gaining more responsibilities at work and my wages are going down. You know, that's kind of been the name of the game ever since I started there. Oh, drifting. Wow, that wasn't even because of a... That wasn't even because of a driver bet. That just happened. Come on! You got to 196, dude. Come on, dude. We're eight seconds back. Oh, and now we're going to be even further back. Oh, no. Well, it slowed me down for the corner, at least. Well, hmm. I feel like I should check those pizza times just in case they're actually important. I'm actually catching up to my teammates, which is a problem. I would much rather they were, like, five miles ahead of everyone else and me just hold it up in third. But I got a full boost meter. It's all juice. The juice logo is glowing. Alright, and here we go. Speed barrier! It's not counting it. It didn't count it. I got the 217 and the MX-5 Miata, and these guys are wrecking each other for the win. Guys, can you not? I would much prefer if you didn't do what you're doing. Because we could still lose this race. I hope you guys realize that. No, you're not. Now you're in third. Oh, the bump. The bump from the teammate. 
Okay, I legitimately accumulated six seconds of air time entirely at this track. That is amazing. And I also got like five seconds faster on that lap. Alright. Good stuff. Supposedly they were only three seconds behind us. I disagree. I disagree with that assessment of the situation. Hey! $33,000! Win an endurance crew race. Hey, that was worth a prototype part. Prototype part. Thank you. Six seconds of airtime. It didn't count breaking the speed barrier for some reason. Despite me distinctly breaking the speed barrier. This game is poorly programmed. <laughs> okay. So I'm good enough to advance to the next league. But. And this is a big but. Alright. Huge butt. Sir mix -a -Lot would write a song about this butt. I'm not ready for the prototype, or the, per, the, the, the promotional event. We are ready to see if this game is deliberately going to fuck me over in every pink slip race. My car is good enough. I've practiced enough in this session. We are going to do pink slip endurance showdown. And since it is an, it's an endurance race, I can, uh, yeah, fucking speed barrier. Hold up. 200 miles an hour. Break the speed barrier 200 miles an hour. Current 217.0. Thank you, game. Thank you. Okay, what track? Air trauma, full impact. I don't know either of these. We're gonna go to the USA one because I don't trust any Japanese track. Okay. Putting this car on the line. I think this is the first pink slip race of the playthrough, and this is an easy track. Okay, I, I, I picked right. <laughs> I made a good decision, is what I just did. Okay. Just need to mentally prepare for when the game decides to fuck me over for no reason. Air trauma. What kind of cars do we have? Okay, so the strategy for this would be to pick a car that's going to last for a long time. And not a car that's going to be, like, at the end of its life cycle, like right now, like this one, for example. Gran Torino goes on for decades. An NSX would be very good. I do like the Camaro, though. That would also be a muscle car. It doesn't say Max Lee. Sadly. It has 13 races and one win. Anyone's guess when that one win was. This NSX has 14 races and zero wins. 12 races and zero wins. Oh, we have got some stiff competition. I really I want the Camaro. Oh, the Camaro. Fine. A man of few words, Leon Tyrell. And I can't do the memory card thing because it's PS3, so the hard drive is built into the, into the console. So if I lose this, well, <laughs> I'm losing the car. All right. 16 laps! Uh-oh! Oh, when they said endurance, they weren't kidding. All right, well, I have a long time to learn how to drive this track. That's good, at least. Uh-oh. All right. Boost. I need boost. Leon's fast. It said I could beat the speed barrier at this track. I don't think I'm making 200 miles an hour here at any point in the near future. I'm afraid. Oh, we can flat foot that corner. Let's go. Let's go. Clean lap. Oh, Leon thought he had it. But if this was a short race, he would have had it. <laughs> oh. All right, it's a good thing that just bouncing off the wall didn't cause me to go any slower there. It is tough, but not impossible to spook someone in a pink slip race. But I think we have enough laps to potentially be able to make that happen. I'm not going to use any boost. I'm going to have a maximum boost tank for the last lap. We are still playing this game. All right, well, I'm going to talk about things. So, last episode, I talked about stupid things that happened while I was not at work. And then I got back to work, and it was a disaster. Well, the exact same thing happened yesterday. So, here's what happened. Um, I was gone for two whole days. Two entire day-night cycles. And what happens, there's three people who had a... Made, made uh, the person on the uh, shift call the manager at 11 at night. Three separate motherfuckers 
And you see, the thing is, is that I knew something bad was going to come of that, because there was literally, I had no solution. The only solution that I had was to move some guys from king rooms to two queen rooms. I suck at this game. That was the only possible solution that I had. And I knew it was going to piss them off, but you see, the problem is, is that we shouldn't have even been in that situation to begin with. Those rooms should not have been sold. We were already overbooked, and this fucking guy, this fucking guy, books three additional rooms after we were already oversold. So, these fuckers show up thinking they're getting king rooms, we literally don't have any. There are literally zero. There are less than zero. So I did what I had to do. I changed them to two queen rooms because there was no other solution. That was the only option that I had. I had to. Okay? Oh no. Speaking of had to. Well, <laughs> that was a that was a moment. Well, I could flat foot that corner again at least. Hey, I got a big lead suddenly. Woo! Okay. We're fine. Oh, we're not fine. Slap 10. We're past halfway. And I have not put the distance between me and Tyrone that I would have liked to. Alright, I, I deserve that. Okay, he absolutely was within his rights to put me in the wall there, and that's exactly what I was waiting to see. That was the exact thing that I was waiting to see happen. Cool. Will I ever catch him again? The answer is probably not. Pizza time again. I don't care. I'm kind of in the middle of something. I'm in the middle of losing my fucking car, the only car that I've driven this entire playthrough. Alright, I caught him. Yeah, stupid. That's what you are. And me, for that matter. We're both stupid. I'm stupid. You're stupid. I'm stupid. You know, sun goes up, sun comes up, sun comes down, alright? Anyway, that really was the extent of that story, was that I just had no other options. I, I had to. I had to put the guys into a two queen room because we had literally nothing else, and the guys should not have made those reservations. They should not have been made. They should not have even been staying at the hotel. It's not my fault. Speaking of that, speaking of things that aren't my fault, that. Now shut up. Stop! You rat bastard. This guy. Oh! 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 This track sucks. I don't think his fucking spook mooter is- Oh my, I don't know what that was. His spook mooter has not gone up this entire fucking race. And I think he's kind of shit at the final couple of corners here. He's great on the first half of the track. Like, he is untouchable in, this, in these first two corners. But those last two corners, he's terrible. And that's what's going to save me in this race. Okay. We gotta lead. That's not going to last, but I have it. Okay. Uh. Uh. Okay. That was my best lap thus far. Let's fucking go. Okay. Keep it off the wall. And perfect turn. Oh, that was so good. That was the best I've taken that corner this entire race. Oh, he's getting into me. Who? Oh, it's gonna come down to the final fucking lap if I don't fucking lose immediately. Okay, bye Tyrone. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that either! Go! Okay, we got a big lead. No, we don't got a big lead. I can see him in the mini-map. Oh, just go! You son of a bitch, no. No! No! Satisfaction. Cunt motherfucking bitch. 
Of course. Of course. Of course. No surprises there. Oh my fucking god! Cut! Just buy another cut car and go. He's not driving it. So he's taking my car and is just keeping it now. Thanks. Thanks, you fucking prick. Cool. That's awesome. That's awesome news. Just in general. Everything about that is awesome. In the, in the fucking PS2 game, you can take it straight back to the same event and just get your fucking car back. But no. Looks like we're driving against Bobby Cunt-Ass Sawyer. Shut the fuck up, you fucking cunt. This sucks. Yeah, it does. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? This... Are you serious? This game. This... this game. This fucking game. I don't know what else to say other than this game over and over. This is ridiculous. Nothing about this has made any sense. From start to fucking finish. That I should have just, I should have said at the end of this race, I just effortlessly won this. But, of course. Of course, nothing can just fucking happen. Obviously. Obviously, nothing can ever happen. Thanks, game. Thank you. You're a cunt whore. So I'm pretty sure the Mustang's one of the shittiest cars in the game, because it only lasts for like two leagues. But at least we'll have a League 4 prototype car ready to go. Bare fucking minimum on that one. Now sell this piece of shit car that I never wanted to begin with. Okay. So. Oh no, this one goes to the end. And it's a good drift car. It's a Saline Mustang. Alright, shit. Number of owners, one. I disagree. Paint slash decal mods, minus 2,000. Okay. Well, it's mine now. 12,000 for paint. I disagree. 5,000, that's more like it. Okay, let's do some Ford Blue. Even though it's saline. Very cool. Uh, yeah. Lose paint changes. Would you shut up? Visual mods. Hood. It's a stock hood. Because the only other option is shit. Headlights. It's a stock headlight because... Is every other option shit? Pretty much. Okay. How about mirrors? Stock, because every other option shit, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay. I think the wheels are fine. It's got a good spoiler. Carbon fiber trunk. No. We're not doing that. License plate. Um, Cobby, Dobby, Bobby, Gobby, Hobby, Iobby, Jobby, Cobby, Lobby, Tea Baby. I am now Tea Baby. And this is going to be a Spanish plate. Rear lights. Are they stock because all the other options are shit? Why, yes, they are. Tinted windows. Are they? Yes, they are tinted. Okay. Adjust ride height. It's all the way down already, man. All the way down. Seats. Already got the gaming chair. Already got a gaming steering wheel, too. Oh, can we chop top it? What? Oh, no, it's roof scoops. I thought it was going to be fucking... We could make it a convertible. I want to I take the roof off, dude. No, I don't want to lose all fucking changes. Okay. Well, you can't do a body kit for this car, so that's incredibly lame. How about decal editor? I wish there was a preset, like, decal I could put on. The decal editor in this game is shit. Logo packs. No. Theme packs. I haven't unlocked any of these. I haven't unlocked any of those either. Okay. Gradients. No. Stripes. Yes. Or put some... No, we're going to put some stripes on here. Yeah, now we're talking. 
Single sided. Edit decal. Move decal. Uh. Uh oh. How do I put it on the roof if I can only adjust things on the fucking side? Help. Oh, I see. We gotta go down. Feeling down. Okay, I want this. And I want this. And I want this. And I want this. Brilliant. I'm the best. Uh, decal color. What would, what would go good with this? Ooh, I, I like the contrasting with the yellow. Why does it stop at the front? Excuse me. It goes all the way on the back! Okay, this game is pissing me off. Okay, so, we're gonna move it down. Yes? Scale it up more. You think putting a stripe on a car would not be this difficult? Yeah, here we are. Here we are. This is as long as it goes. It stops halfway. Are you kidding me, dude? Mm. Okay, we're gonna have it so that it goes all the way down on the front, but it stops on the back. Cause I have no other fucking options at this point. Okay. It's going across the fucking, mm. Okay. That's gonna have to do. That's the best it's gonna get. Oh my, no! Okay. We got the fucking decal on. It's a goddamn miracle. Okay, did Bobby at least put extreme nitrous in this? Of course not. But he does have the maximum weight upgrade, so that's pretty cool. Give me Edelbrock. Thank you. I bet that was a waste of money. Anyway. Alright, I got a new car. Yay! Oh my lord. Alright, well that was a fucking journey and a half. Oh, we've been recording for an hour and a half. I'm gonna go back to that stupid ass race to see what Tyrone shows up with. Cause we can't use that car after this league, but it's the fucking principle of the thing. That car was purchased two years ago and it says so on the thing, on the pink slip. So I kinda want it. He brought his fucking bitch ass prototype X. And once you beat someone, once you beat someone in this, they don't bring their car, they don't come back. They're done forever. Leon's got a nice look in a 300Z though. Look at that. Sixth place in a drift, good shit. Astra. Got your Astra. All right, wow. Apparently I'm never seeing that MX-5 ever again because he's just not going to bring it back to the fucking race. He didn't even bring the fucking Camaro. He just brought something entirely fucking different. Thanks, Leon, you or Tyrone, you cunt heel bitch. All right, next race. We can finish this. Finish this stupid shit off. Finish this piss league, the NOS league. Extreme Nitrous Endurance Challenge. Oh, it's another endurance race. Oh, and it's in Japan. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's probably the terrible track. I think it is. I think this is the worst track in the game. Or actually, it doesn't have that uh, pinch off thing, though, that the uh, other one does. It doesn't have the hairpin, it just has turns and shit. It has normal turns, like a normal track. It's funny. Yeah. There were some rage moments in this playthrough on PS2. I don't know. That was a pretty good rage moment that we just had, though. That was one of the, uh, that was uh, up there. It's even better, because it couldn't take out the fucking memory card. Or something specifically like that to take place. Oh, there's a lot of cars in this one. Bobby just went and bought another fucking Mustang. <laughs> he just had a few on standby, just in case. Oh, a C2. Oh, I have to bet with Nicholas in the C2. Show me the money. This is jolly old St. Nicholas, 33k. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad! You're on. This race will give him a good show. Okay, sure. 
Honestly, that's just so Terra doesn't approach me. Gotta be honest, that's the only reason I did that. Alright. We got... Oh, race. That's two laps long. And it's also an extreme nitrous. In extreme nitrous races, you're just always having nitrous. Extreme nitrous races are the only time that it's good to have a supercar. If you're not wrecking, you're going fast. Oh. When they said split decision, they weren't kidding. Oh my. Oh, everyone's here. Who's Jason? Jason fucking Voorhees on the track here. Alright, well, since we always have nitrous, we may as well always be using said nitrous. Okay, take the left here. Oh, I guess it decided that I'm allowed to break the speed barrier now. Uh. Okay, you. Tonight, you. Get back here, you son of a bitch. No, he's still using the boost. Oh my. Okay, he's still using the boost, that's unfair. Car, please. That's what I get for trying to spook him. Instead of just going for it. Okay, uh. And you have to fucking repurchase the Extreme Nitrous. Extreme Nitrous isn't just a one-time purchase. You gotta get it for every single goddamn lead. And there's usually an Extreme Nitrous event in every single lead, so you gotta fucking do it. And it's not even a prototype part. It's not even a prototype park. Why is it so dark at this track? And who is Jason? And why is he so good? Why is he here? Where's Nicholas at? Jason Quinn. Isn't that the guy from the fucking, uh... Higher driver screen? Isn't he like the worst on that fucking screen too, for that matter? I passed you up, bitch. Oh my god. Bouncing off the fucking walls. I have yet to spook anyone in this event. And everyone's here. Nicholas is even here. Look at that C2 go. Good shit. God, this is like the... Wan Gone races in the Tokyo Drift game. I should play that for the channel. I actually unironically like that game. It's got a great soundtrack. The car customization is in-depth. That's a left turn. Right at the end of the fucking race, for that matter. Shut up. Ooh. Help. Okay, we made the split decision. I'm thinking it's the wrong one. Can I please spook someone? Ah. Okay, we're in a lead for now. Car hasn't had a mind of its own yet. Maybe that was just an MX5 problem. Maybe just because it was the MX-5, like the game was like, no one will ever drive as the MX-5, let's put in a game-breaking glitch that no one will ever discover. That's my theory. Out. Okay. Extreme Nitrous. Cornering's going down. I think I have a big lead, guys. I couldn't tell you where. We still got like a minute left of this race. So I guess you just use all of your nitrous on the straightaways and then get it built back up in the corners. And then by the time you're down the straightaway again, it's all the way back to max. Yeah. Would the DNA please shut up? I still don't know what it's actually measuring. Like cornering, okay. It, cornering going blue means you can take corners without wrecking. That's good. But I still don't understand, after all these years, what it means when it says nitrous going wild or cool. We are still in this race. This race is still going. Ah. Uh, okay. This should be the final stretch to the end. Big left turn. Not yet. Not fucking yet. There goes my stripey hood. Now the big left turn, and we're done. Wow, okay. Well, that was quite something. I got the driver bet with nickel ass. So that's good. 
So now that we're past level five, we're never gonna be able to get to see the MX-5 again because the game just decided it's not gonna put the fucking car in the fucking thing. Couldn't tell you why. 86 grand for winning that. that was an easy ass race. For, for once I got more money by winning the race than I did in the driver bed. That's a first. Win an extreme nitrous circuit race. Break the speed barrier again. And this league is finally over. We never have to do it again. And that's probably more than enough for today's episode. We're going to the Nitrous Express League. Okay, I've been promoted. We're going to obviously upgrade the existing car. We could do the S2000. Toyota Corolla GTS. How high can this go? I think it was a prototype in the last league. We also got an S2000, but the S2000 shit. We're going to stick with our guns. Upgrade the Mustang. I would like a lead. I would like to just get the prototype parts, honestly. I would much rather just get the get a car that's going to be a prototype in this league. That's kind of where I'm at at this point in the playthrough. Let's just get a prototype car. Just call it good. Acura. Okay, we can uh see like all of these are prototypes in the previous league. There's probably like only one car in the entire game that's a max league of four. Let's uh, let's go buy all cars, and here we go. Max League, we're looking at League 4 for Max League. Do, 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 do. Okay, here's a couple. RX-8, and the Honda Civic Si. Oh, it's a new Civic! It's a new Civic! Okay, that's at the top of the short list. There's also a Leon Cupra. We can drive the man. There's also a Fiat Coupe. Look at that. Mmm, good stuff. It's the worst Eclipse. Mmm, hit elite. Ford Falcon. It's expensive as shit. Ow, Raynal Sport. Hideous. Vauxhall. There's the Astra from before. I could just go and win that in the fucking pink slip race. Oh, the Mustang 99, this is one that, yeah, this is what, I, th I thought for sure that it was like a two fucking lead car. I knew it. I knew it. Now there's another Civic. We can get the hatchback Civic. Ooh, world class. Nissan. Ooh, R33. Very cool indeed. Uh, why am I looking at these? I'm looking for lead four. Infinity G35. Now that's class. Uh, yeah, the 300Z can go all the way to lead one. And it's a good drift car. Ooh. Ooh. I'm a fan of the 3000 GT. League 4. Anyone? Anyone else going to be League 4? Well, this is League 5. Yeah, I would have had a great car if I, the game hadn't fucked me in the ass. Corvette Stingray. That's a muscle car. Ooh. We haven't had a muscle car yet. Thanks, game. Okay, we're going to get this. It's only 17 grand. Corvette Stingray. Very good. Stupid Giordano has the new car. Very nice, very nice. Let's get pimping. Let's get pimping. Stingray. Very good. Very good, very good. What kind of visual mods do we have? Oh, this car can have front bumper and the fucking Mustang can? Oh, because it's a fucking, it's, it's just the bumper bar. Look at that. Yeah, like I'd want to take the fucking chrome one off. Okay, carbon fiber. Not carbon fiber. Also not carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. That's stupid looking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, this is some Midnight Club 3 level shit is what this is. All right, I'm happy again. I was pissed off, but now I'm not pissed off. Tino for me. Ooh, those actually kind of fit the car, kind of. Dare. I'm gonna dare to put some rims on. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yeah, I like that. That one. Oh, make them big. Oh, we can do 20-inch tires. Look at that. 
Let's do 18. We gotta add some tire in there. This is still just the fucking bumper bars. What is the green shit? It's stupid. Oh, man. Yeah. We back. 2K. 20. 2K22. Hell yeah. We back. We back. Let's keep it American for once. Side ported exhaust. Ooh. Ooh. This is such, this is giving me such Midnight Club 3 vibes. Oh yeah. Oh, all of these options are great. That one's really good. That one's especially good though. $530 for that, that's it. Tinted windows. Would you just save the changes without doing that? $21,000 down the drain. Very good, very good. Car decals, got a slap on my preset. Where, where are they? Wait, was that store preset? Yes. Apply preset. Oh, it's, co it's getting covered up. That's eh, fine. Okay, this car has to have flames, I'm sorry. I know it's not, it's kind of sacrilegious to do this, but this car needs flames. Oh, look at these preset colors. Okay, all the decals are shit, so never mind on the flames. Okay, paint shop. It's already the perfect color, but can we make it even more perfect? Pearlescent red. Oh, look at it, shine. Heaven let your light shine down. Ooh, that's bright. It's very bright. Is it metallic by default then? What color is this? Look at that. Look at that. Very good. Okay, performance time. Okay, so I did the exact opposite of what I needed to do, which was uh, get a prototype car for this league. Put in a lot of effort to reduce by 10 whole kilograms. Thanks, by the way, game. All right, well, that's that. We could unlock some prototypes, but I really didn't help me in any way. Spent $69,000 on this car. What a waste of money. Anyway, that's gonna do it at fucking long last for this episode of uh, Juiced. We need to complete a muscle car drift king event at some point. So good thing about a muscle car. That was sheer coincidence. Next time we're gonna do another pink slip prototype showdown because this game is a bitch. Uh, drift obliterator events exist. Uh, we need 10 million drift points. Wonder if I can get that in a single event. And yeah, all that good stuff. So lots of drifting, lots of not drifting. We will be doing it. And yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. This has been Comic Cause Games playing some more Juice 2 and I will see you whatever it is that I do next. Bye! What the fuck is happening right now? Hello? Come on, Vito. Yes! Yes! No! Yes? Maybe? Alright! Here we go! No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! No, no, go over there! No! Oh, God! No kidding, Rick Allen. I couldn't have said it better myself, honestly.